Welcome back. It's time for, for the newspaper review. And with me is Joe Halende, a political strategist. This is going to go through the papers with me and see what's making headlines and what's the most important issues that are being tackled on our dailies. And today we're going to look at the Standard and the Nation, uh, the Daily Nation, and of course politics, as usual, in our Kenyan papers, always takes center stage. So the biggest headlines on both papers. Let's start with the Standard. It says, Murade, what? Uhuru will do. So the, the former um, Secretary General of the Jubilee Party is telling us um, what Uhuru is going to do, his outline on his war on um, corruption. And then we have um, the Daily Nation talking about Raila's party trades blows with Uhuru over handshake. This handshake has been making headlines all through. Yes. Uh, <coughs> Clearly, what you can see on the standard is rather what Uhuru will do. Yeah. I, I, this, this is a problem that I have with certain headlines. Because, Why? What, what would you because, have? Because uh, we are talking about Murade, Murade who is the yes. former vice uh, chairperson. Vice of, chair, just to correct of, uh, myself right Jubilee. there. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yes. I don't know in which capacity now is he talking uh, on behalf of the president. Because <laughs> he seems from to where have sit, inside I know information. The only people who are authorized to speak on behalf of the president yeah. is his chief of staff, mm -hmm. who is uh, Zioka Waita, mm -hmm. and maybe the spokesperson who is Kanza Denena. Yeah. But uh, Murade, to me, he's a stranger now. He's a stranger because he's, because he's no longer at the helm of that party. <laughs> yes. But he seems to be very pro um, Uhuru Kenyatta's war on graft. He seems to have a lot of faith in, in, in his strategy. And he says the wheels are turning. They might be slow, but it's going to happen. What do you think? Yeah, for a long time in this country, this is the first time mm -hmm. we have the political goodwill. Yes. that we have been missing on yes. this war against corruption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I can say, it's not necessarily that there's a group which is uh, supporting the president on war against corruption, mm -hmm. but collectively, as mm -hmm. a country, we have agreed that corruption is a hindrance to governance, mm -hmm. and we should fight the menace to the core. To the core, yeah. yeah. That, of course, that is the general sentiment, that we need political goodwill, but a major problem also has been that while this has been, the, the, in the presence of political goodwill, there's also the question of arrests mm -hmm. and after arrests prosecution and are these people actually brought to book and what would happen even after because let's say the big wigs maybe the CSS get caught up in all this war on corruption so he does say that he there are looming arrests and prosecutions of top government officials for corruption that will be tr that will actually trigger a cabinet reshuffle of course you have dismissed him as a, a, a worthy um, <laughs> speaker for the for the for the president President, but what do you think about the, that actually happening? Yes, uh, at, before even I address the issue, you can see that Murade is purporting to speak for the for the relevant a agencies which are dealing with this matter. Yes, he's stating that uh, they are looming arrests. Yes, and the whistle has been uh, blown. Blown, yeah. And any time <laughs> soon, it's like there's this. a drum roll. Yes. We're just waiting for so it to happen. So you wonder. Mm. That what does Murade mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. that some of us don't know? Yeah. Yes. But uh, to the issue, mm -hmm. the matter is that we all agree yeah. that uh, investigation are supposed to be done, mm -hmm. proper investigation. Mm -hmm. And any uh, case before you take it to any competent court of law, yeah. you must have evidence mm -hmm. and you must follow the law. Yes. You cannot use newspaper headlines or rumors to well, charge well, someone well, with well, well. I, I think maybe as a Jubilee affiliate, he might have some credibility in what he says for the party. He might just have information. Yes, yes, per se. And that's why, that's why people like Murade have ended up in this discussion and supported in mm -hmm. fact, an argument from one section of the from one section of the Kenyans, yes. in where they say that the war on corruption has been uh, politicized mm -mm. and it has been weaponized against yes. certain I've people. Certain because people. if you it's listen to certain sentiment from Rade, yeah. confirms those fears, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that uh, there are some people mm -hmm. who are using this story to mm -hmm. propagate a political narrative yes. to gain mileage with okay. it, okay. and that's what Rade is confirming through his mm -hmm. interview. 